Okay, picking up from where we left off in the last two, uh, clip, uh, we've created our table and we've created some stored procedures that we think we're going to need. Um, now the next thing that we need to do is, is set up our projects for the data access layer in the business. So basically, we choose uh, Add New Project, and we choose Class Library, and we'll call this uh, Acme data dot uh, ms sql and remember we want to put it in our folder for our acme stuff here so we want to browse yeah okay it's already in our acme project so it should create this project here yeah make sure we select that folder um, and we'll just say okay and and it stubs out a class library for us. And then we'll go ahead and add another one. And again, it'll be a class library. We want it to go into the Acme Projects folder. And we'll call it Acme.Business. All right. Now we've got to. We want to make sure that our web user interface talks to our business layer. So we need to add a reference for that. So we choose Add Reference, and then we'll choose the Projects tab since we can just reference the project and choose Acme Business. And then from the Acme Business class, we want to reference the data. Acme data. So not by this name. Now, let's rename this to DB Guestbook. Yeah, there aren't any references right now, but go right ahead. And then we'll just call this Guestbook. OK, now the other thing we need to do I do this anyway because by default the uh, DLL generator is going to be the same as the project name. But when I'm supporting multiple databases, I like to make sure that you know only one version of the data layer can be in that bin folder at a time. So I really don't need that MS SQL as part of the namespace nor as part of the um, assembly name. So I change that. The other thing we want to do is in our web UI project now, we need to make it responsible for copying the data DLL and the business DLL. So just like what we did before, we can go down to the web store project and we'll borrow a piece of its build event script. You can see where it's copying those two DLLs. Or actually, we've already got that one. But we just need the business and the data kind of structure. And we'll go back into our guestbook post build event. And so we've already got the web UI one. It's going to be acme.business. And it's going to be acme.data. So that should do it. The business uh, layer will it won't actually pull all the DLLs together until we've actually created something. So let's go ahead back to our CodeSmith and we'll choose MS SQL Data Layer Generator. And we'll set our table prefix to Acme. Uh, we'll set our, this is not something I use anymore, the subsonic stuff, but we'll change our namespace to acme.data. And then we'll choose from our scratch pad guestbook table, and then I just click generate. And I could pretty much just copy this whole class, and we'll just chop out or comment out the pieces we're not using yet. So I grab all that, and I go into Visual Studio and to our DB guestbook. And we don't need. Oh wait, we, we do because we use, uh, from our data layer, we want to set a reference to mojoportal.data so we can use the SQL helper class. So we set a reference to mojoportal.data and that makes this one happy. 
and then let's see, so we need a reference to system.configuration, that's why it's complaining here. So we add that reference. And that's going to be on the .NET tab. Scroll all the way down to the system dot configuration. That makes that one happy. And now we've got the create method. We like that. We added the stored procedure for that. We didn't add the update one. I'm going to comment that out now, and I'll either remove it later or we'll decide if we need it. We did add the delete one. As you recall, we also added a delete by module, so we'll just copy and paste this method and say uh, module grid and delete by module and delete by module. And we'll change this guy here and here. Make sure we get the case right. And let's see, we've got the get one. Uh, we didn't use get count yet. We probably will, but we'll save that for later. Select all. We added it to do um, more like uh, well, passing in a module ID, a module to it. So get all is going to have to take grid module grid, and we'll change our syntax by copying a chunk from somewhere else. Fix the parameters. And we'll get rid of this. And then get page. We're not using it yet. We'll probably use it later. I'll just comment it out for now. We'll save it. And we'll note that it can build or not. And yes, it did. All right. Now we'll go back to CodeSmith real quick. Let's check the time here. Eight minutes. All right, I got to move fast here. We get the uh, well. Maybe that's enough for this clip. That's probably smart because it might take eight minutes to talk about the business class. Okay, so I'm going to end this clip here, and we'll see you in the next clip. And we'll create the business class next.